Welcome to my channel, Gerald speaking, and today I'm playing with Jumbo, this medium American tank that can bounce. Everyone are grinding now. Progetto, the X-Pin Progetto, and I'm having fun in Jumbo. Now that, that was pretty poor imitation of uh, Italian accent, but uh, yeah. I'm pretty much uh, trying to get some discount, uh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to complete this uh, this full mission to get it uh, free, this projector, so I'm, some, so I'm playing out of uh, tier 6s, and here you've got an example of a battle with uh, this little thing, this medium fortress, that will um, bounce a lot, I can tell you this, I can tell you this, and here there is a Glacius, um, one of the new maps, the newest maps in this game and um, I'm heading here towards north east around this uh, great looking uh, wreck I don't know how this ship can potentially get like that there the guys from war game they do have fantasy I can give them this but yeah um, where am I aiming to no nowhere I'm not aiming nowhere absolutely fantastic map I, I love the eyes I love the fact that actually you can climb on this on this thing on this uh, ship but let's don't talk about map soon there should be some enemies coming up and I'm gonna get the chance to fight them matchmaking is pretty good <laughs> I have to admit it seems like uh, I've got uh, the best stats and I'm pretty much oh I'm actually not the most experienced player in this matchup there's one more who played 45k battles uh, and hey, yeah, I've got some enemies here, and here is a uh, gentleman on Skoda T24. And obviously there is uh, behind me somewhere Chinu, but I don't really care because I do have some armor. This tank, uh, if you're gonna, if you notice, this, this turret is absolutely stock, and I've got a derp gun on it. And on the stock turret, it's got um, 152 raw armor. So if you're gonna angle it, and if someone's gonna even shoot it, not even straight. Uh, plus, there is obviously here there is another. Place. There is that mantlet. Uh, I'm here the KVS1. It, it provides quite a lot of uh, effective armor, and uh, that thing can bounce. Okay, so I've got here KVS1 permanently tracked, and I'm gonna keep him tracked. Because why not? I'm, I'm just uh, you know, causing 72 damage, 65 damage, and one more shot and this guy should be out of this battle. Yes, boom. This derp gun shoots fast enough to actually keep the enemies tracked, especially if they don't have a very skilled crew. But look at that, now I'm a little bit on the open. T34 85M uh, oh, oh, oh. Just woke up Just woke up Hey, it, it would be good if I'm gonna start moving Look at this Look at this Matilda, Chinu, MT25 I'm just bouncing and <laughs> Look at the um, The amount of, of, of Shell bounce in, in, in the low Lower Left corner 24 shot bounce so far 2.5k damage blocked and it's rocking up even higher so what I did here I just basically angled the armor so it is slightly more effective than if I would be standing straight and enemies here luckily to me they are shooting regular ammunition and I'm just here enjoying the sound Ding ding! <laughs> wow, 30 bounces so far, and it seems like it's not gonna be over yet. I missed. I missed because uh, this gun is not really accurate. I already missed some shots uh, previously, but I'm standing here quite comfortably that I'm not gonna get hurt by those by those guys. And I'm gonna be able to shoot this now. Way too slow velocity I, I was recently playing a um, tier 10 tanks and, and over there you could you could pretty much connect those kind of shots easily not in this case oh 
Finally someone damaged my track. Finally. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe I'll be able to damage two of them in the same time. So it's just like aiming in between, but uh, not really working. Matilda. Oh, it's actually coming quite juicy for Matilda. 420 on that's the MT25. Damn. <laughs> This thing is absolutely crazy. Now, MT25 is coming back for more. Here you go, mate. You want it, you got it. And I'm still keeping bouncing. I haven't lost a single HP yet. The enemies, all they managed to actually do to my tank is just track it. And I'm gonna put another tracking shot to Excelsior. And I'm looking at the minimap and there is uh, M4 coming around but at first I'm trying to deal with those enemies that are sitting in front of me and I think it is a mistake now because I should really back off just to deal with that M4 and uh, come back to the rest of the guys that are not really willing to go and charge me but hey this guy is also using the derp put one at the side of my tank. Thankfully he did not penetrate it and that's my first HP that I lost here. Chinu, oh dear, your days are numbered. Boom. And only two enemies left. <laughs> what a fast amazing battle. S almost six and a half K damage block by Jumbo. I, I, when I'm playing the battles like this, it's uh, it's telling me that grinding this XP for uh, Progetto will be will be quite uh, entertaining. Have a look on the setup that you need to use uh, to get those kind of uh, battles that you just seen. Uh, this is basically M4, A3, E2, uh, Jumbo, and remember to put on. Uh, this turret, which has uh, slightly worse traverse speed, as uh, as I guess also got uh, worst view range, but it's got 152 millimeters of uh, armor all over it, which is absolutely great. And here, obviously, you have a better turret, well, turret with higher tier, which much worse, much worse armor. But uh, every other thing is better, it's lighter, it's got a better view range, and as I said, traverse speed. And obviously, derp gun. Derp gun, this turret, and you're gonna bounce a lot in the matchups like this. And here we have results, not a surprise, it is an ace tanker, as well as steel wall, high caliber, spartan metal. Uh, it's, it's not a spartan metal, it's cool headed for this amount of uh, bounces that I've done. And. Uh, I've managed to cause 2.5k damage to the enemy team as well as uh, I've done 5 kills, 1346 base experience that's very useful towards uh, completing the missions for Progetto and uh, here I've managed to block 6420 HP damage from uh, the enemy shells and uh, that was an absolutely entertaining battle and look at this because it was a five times experience I've managed to gather 10,095 experience towards grinding this uh, line to pattern the tier 10 American tank. If you're trying to collect those missions for uh, Progetto and you're not planning to do those skill base on tier 10, I thoroughly recommend to you use tier 6s for uh, completing those missions and collecting all the XP. As you can see, this uh, jumbo here is absolutely smashed it. And uh, well, you can have a good fun there, at least on, on that tier. Sometimes it can be very, very frustrating on tier 10s, and I think I'm basically gonna be. Uh, going through that way. That doesn't mean I'm gonna be not gonna be playing occasionally with a tier 10, but uh, yeah, fully recommend this tank to have some fun from time to time because when you are in top tier and you have uh, enemies like this, you can just bounce a lot and collect a lot of experience. Well, for now, I wish you good luck on the battlefield. Subscribe for more. Leave a like and until next time, cheers!